loves welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new welcome my name is Christina Giselle and I'm currently a mom to a 16 month old toddler girl I make videos on motherhood and lifestyle and today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my one-year-old gift guide so my daughter turned one in July and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the things that I know she already likes as well as some of the things that you can possibly get your kid for Christmas as well so if you're looking for some ideas on what to get a one-year-old let me get right into it and continue to watch the end Okay, so the first thing that I want to suggest as a great gift for a one-year-old is musical instruments. So I bought this adorable kit for my daughter. It comes with so many cool things and she really does get a kick out of playing with it. She loves music and I think this is so fun because whether you leave it out for them to play or you could actually make like a special time of day where you guys have like music class and I think it's just perfect for her or him to be able to grow into as a gift. So the number two gift I suggest is actually right behind me. It is a canopy play tent. So I'll insert a picture so you guys could see it in full motion, but my daughter loves this play tent. I actually have it in her bedroom currently. So whether she's playing in it or she's actually using it as like a reading nook, she loves running into it and sitting in there. And I actually sit with her too and read books to her. So I think it's like a perfect addition to a bedroom or a play area or even like a living room. Definitely a must. So the number three thing I suggest are books. Books are always a great idea, especially for a one-year-old and this age because they're starting to find an interest in books. And I've seen as my daughter has developed, because she's 16 months now, that she is super into books. Not like how she was when she was a baby when she used to like fling them away from my hand, but she really likes them. So the ones I suggest specifically are books like these like the my first hundred words books kids are starting to learn at this age so books like this has like all the animals and you can repeat to them the animals and the sounds and it really does help with them speaking another type of book i suggest are touch and feel books she really loves this book it's again it's about farm animals it has touch and feels and she just loves books like this as well and then another suggestion of a type of book are the flip and flat books but she has just found an obsession with these she just loves being able to like put the little flaps down while you read and what I love about these books is that they're very vivid in color and that's definitely something I suggest books that are bright and have colorful um, pages and all these books are actually board books like she loves being able to just open this. This one acts up toes, ears and nose, so like body parts, which I think is really cool because she's starting to understand that now. And a lot of the books that I also do get her are actually like realistic books. So they're about like animals or people, baby faces, things like that. So those are definitely things I suggest. So books are definitely a great go-to gift, whether it's for your own kid or for other kids because it's definitely something that they will grow into. The next item that I suggest is a pull cart wagon. So my daughter's going to this phase where she likes to transport things around. So getting like a little wagon for them to be able to pull their toys in and just put whatever they find that they wanna play in is just such a cute thing to be able to get them and it's definitely a good suggestion. So one of the items I do suggest is a play kitchen. It's a little bit of an investment, it's a big gift, but I definitely think it's something that your child will be able to grow into. Whether you wanna get them something that's bigger or even a really small one. I I know ikea has small ones i specifically got mine from home goods because it was already built and it was like 130 dollars and i like it because it's all wooden and it's sleek and modern so it's a really good way for your children to be able to learn how to do pretend play and my daughter's super into that right now and i just love it and i know it's something that she'll be able to grow into the next items that i suggest go with the play kitchen and that is pretend food and whether it's wood or felt as well as pretend accessories so i specifically got her some pretend food already that is made out of felt that i'll show you guys and then i also just got her these wooden pretend foods from melissa and doug and what i like about this that it's different food groups it's wooden so she puts it in her mouth it doesn't really you know doesn't have like it's non-toxic and i also like how it comes in these little crates and it can grow with her because as she gets older i'll be able to explain the different food groups 
But I also really do like felt food, so if you have a kid who puts things in their mouths a lot, that's a lot better for them. And I also love this little cute little tea set that I found for her by Green Toys. I just love this brand. It's one of my favorite because it's just non-toxic and it's sustainable. And I love this little set that I got for her to go for a pretend kitchen, as well as I already got her some pots and pans and things like that. So just in that category, I think will be a really good gift for a one-year-old to be able to grow with. The next item I suggest you guys get your one year old is a little table and chair set. At this stage, they really need a little space where they can have their little snacks or do some arts and crafts. So having a little table that is like on their level with chairs. And so the next item that I suggest are animal figurines, where it's jungle animals, some ocean creatures, some farm animals, all the different animals. My kid loves figurines. She loves like taking them around the house and playing with them. And then we also use them as education toys like this I got this box specifically from Amazon there's some higher end ones that she also got for her birthday but I like this one because it came with a big set and it pretty much has like all the different animals like this little elephant it has a lion a camel and they're pretty realistic which I really like like this camel just looks real about this is I'm able to describe what the animal is as well as the sounds and things like that so that she's able to just learn as well and then I may even I even do make like little laminated animal cards so they can grow and make like matching games so I definitely think that is a really good gift to be able to get a kid Okay, so the next item I want to suggest are blocks. Now, whether you get wooden blocks or there are these really cool blocks by Invenito, I think that's how it's said, and they're sensory play blocks, so they have like little spikes that stick. Anything that could help them be able to build, I think is a really good toy. It allows for open-ended play, and it's something that they could definitely grow into and last longer. So the next item I want to suggest is a step two push and go buggy for when you guys go outside and go for walks. My daughter got this for her for her birthday and she just loves strolling around the neighborhood in it. Sometimes um, she doesn't really like going into the stroller so it's a good alternative to be able to take her for walks because she's she's strapped down but she's not like she's able to sit up and see what's going on. So it's definitely something that I feel like is a good idea to get. The next item that I want to suggest is a water table. Now, I wish I would have actually got this when she was actually a little younger, for just to have as she grew. So even if, you know, it's cold by where you live, getting this now before the summer, once it gets warm, you could play with it outside. It's like, out, you could play with it for hours outside because kids just love playing with water. It can help with like sensory play as well. So I definitely think it's a great item. Another great idea to get a one-year-old art arts and crafts supplies. So not everything has to be a toy. Arts and crafts is just a fun thing that one-year-old can start doing with you or even on their own when they're starting to, when, you know, under observation by you as well. Arts and crafts is such a great thing to get them because my daughter currently is liking to be able to play like with sensory things. Whether you get them like kinetic sand for them to play because it's something that's really cool for them to touch and grab and it doesn't make a mess like regular sand does. Or Play-Doh. I just got her this really cute Play-Doh set. We already actually started playing with it because I couldn't wait till Christmas. But this is this another Green Toys product and it's a Sesame Street Party Joe activity set and you're able to make like little cakes and things like it and I love it because she loves the Sesame, she loves Sesame Street and it's just such a fun sensory arts and craft activity for her to do. I believe this was like $24 but I know that there, it, you know, items, the Green Toys goes on sale at Target and Amazon all the time as well as you can get like some watercolor paint some crayons. I also got this Melissa and Doug drawing paper set that I'm gonna be able to put on the table for her, for her to be able to just draw whenever. So things like that, it's a really good thing for you to be able to get some get kids as well as ask people to get your kid too. Another great item that I think would be good for a one-year-old is a wooden train set. I didn't want to get one of those really big train sets because she is still really young. So I found a really cool one. So this is a little train set that I found. It's by Melissa and Doug as well. I love Melissa and Doug items because they're affordable 
and they're wooden and they're non-toxic and what I love about them is they're super affordable so this is a cute little place that I got I like it because like I said it's small and this is how it looks it's brown and it comes with a few little trains and I already got her some little trains as well so she can just add on to that because they're magnetic and I think it's really cute and it was only $15 regularly 20 I got it at Marshall I think that'll be a great gift for a boy or a girl Another great gift I think would be great for a one-year-old is a rainmaker. Kids just love playing with things that have sound. It's all new to them. So I think this would be a great gift. This one specifically is by Little Hero. I took it out the box to show you guys, but it just makes these cool sounds. And I love all the different colors. And I think this is a really good gift for a 12 month old because it just will keep them entertained and have them staring at it. And I think it's really cute for them. Another really good idea to get a one year old are bath toys. You know, they take baths every day. So being able to just switch things up in the bath and make it more fun is definitely important. So if you don't already have, I suggest getting some like alphabet and numbers that just stick to the bathtub. I know I wanna get my daughter some of those as well as they have like little crayons that they could color and they're washable. Also, one of the things that I got her as well is this little tugboat by Green Toys 2. You're able to play in the bath with it and it spews out some water right here so you can put it under water and take it out and she could hold it like this. So I thought this was really cool. It was only $7 and it's also like washable so you don't have to worry about it getting like mold and stuff in it like some bath toys can get. So I definitely suggest getting bath toys too. Another good idea to get a one-year-old is this little hedgehog. So I got this for my daughter for, or she actually got it as a gift for her birthday. And I think the reason I really like this is because it could definitely help them with their pincer grip. So basically it comes with these little things, these little pegs that you stick into the hole and they have little grips that they can grab. So ever since she got that, she has mastered being able to grab it and put it in here. But when she first got it, it she found it hard. So it's definitely something that will help your kid with their pincer grip, so I definitely suggest it at this age. Another great gift I suggest for a one-year-old are subscription kits. So sometimes you just don't wanna have like all the toys. Being able to have like a subscription kit box like Love Everly or Kiwi & Co, just it brings you ideas on what you could do with your kid and be able to just know with them explaining how to play with them. So I love that because I actually asked like some family members, I asked my in-laws to get me the Love Everly kit and I asked my mom and dad to get me the Kiwi & Co kit. I don't have them already, so I'll let you guys know what I think about it and I'll make a video about it. But I just think these are such great ideas because they're educational and they're easy to use and you don't have to worry about getting them getting you specific kits and I know that Love Everly comes every three months and Kiwi & Co comes every month so I definitely suggest you getting so that. My last suggestion for a one-year-old gift would be experiences like I know we're in 2020 and it's a pandemic and we don't know what the future holds. I know for you mamas that don't want a whole bunch of toys around the house having an experience not only helps our pockets but it just helps being able to give your kid an experience that they'll be able to learn from and treasure and that helps you as well so something that i would suggest is maybe some zoo passes hopefully depending on where you live this the zoo will be open next summer you know with six feet apart whatever it is but i know things like the zoo or mommy and me classes music classes or dance classes being able to get like so they help you with a month or give you a gift card whatever it is experiences definitely go a long way and i know that's definitely something that i would want to ask people to get my one year old or any kid that too. So I hope you guys really liked all the items that I was able to share with you guys and that you're able to get for your one-year-old as well. Like I said, I think all these items are great because I know for sure majority of the things my daughter already likes and I hope that your kids like it too. So if you guys did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can find out when my next video comes out. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys are doing well and you're staying safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.